Hello Cancer, this is Renee, and welcome back. Cancer, this will be your reading for February 1st through the 15th. So if this reading resonates, like and subscribe, hit that bell, and make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. Cancer, if this doesn't resonate, feel free to come back next week. I upload every week. So come back next week for another message. Okay, Cancer. This is your reading for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising. For Cancer's greatest good. We have wisdom. At the bottom, Cancer, look at this. Abundance. What you don't see coming is some kind of abundance coming into your life. Something that's going to make you very happy, very joyful. This could be an increase in your income, an increase in something that's going to make your lifestyle a little easier but this is really good energy let's get another message for cancer another message for cancer please spirits another message for cancer we have into me i see so yeah that's another card of wisdom kind of dwelling within to get those answers that you may be yearning for. Answers that um, will help you through your process. At the bottom we have opening to discovery. So Cancer, you may be discovering new things. There may be new opportunities unfolding for you. Something is happening, Cancer. Something is opening up. You're finding out new things. This could be you going on a new journey, a new beginning. We have inner child healing. So yeah, while you're looking within to gain wisdom and clarity, I feel like you're also gaining healing, Cancer. We also have learning experience. So there's definitely some kind of expansion, some kind of growth that you're going through. You're expanding your knowledge, your beliefs, your environment. And you are expecting miracles to happen, Cancer. Beautiful energy. I'm loving this energy so far. Let's take a look at the tarot for Cancer. What do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, and Rising. What messages for Cancer Spirits for February 1st through the 15th? What messages for Cancer? Messages for Cancer, please. Something is coming through very unexpectedly, Cancer. You have the Knight of Wands. No, that's the Knight of Swords. You have the Knight of Swords. Wow, okay. So, with this Knight of Swords, this is definitely a lifestyle change. This is some kind of truth that's being brought to you. Some kind of truth. Um, maybe even a life's purpose. Yeah, look at this. We have the Ace of Wands. Beautiful energy so far. New beginnings, new growth, new ideas. You're taking inspired action. Maybe by this new ideas, these new beliefs that you're having. Some kind of lifestyle changes taking you into the next level. Making you inspired to move forward in a very powerful way. Look at this. 
the judgment. Beautiful. You're finding your purpose, Cancer. You're finding clarity. This can also be sort of a wake-up call. Did something happen very recently, Cancer, that made you look through your life through a different lens? What happened to you in the near past that's brought you to this clarity? Something's changed your perspective in a very big way. We have the Two of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. So definitely, definitely, uh, this could be some kind of companion, partnership, union. This is love. The Two of Cups is also soulmate energy, Cancer. And I feel like this love that's coming through, they want to give you some kind of gift. They want to provide you with some kind of gift that's going to go for your greater good. Some kind of giving and receiving. Some kind of help or generosity is coming forward for you. Someone's coming in to brighten your day with a gift. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is coming right underneath the Knight of Swords. So what I see in this Nine of Pentacles is financial gain. Something's coming forward that's going to make you very profitable. This could be new wealth coming in. This could be something that you started that may have been delayed, but now you're seeing the luxuries, the pleasures that you were waiting for. Yeah, the strength card. So I feel like, you know, the strength card is coming right underneath this Ace of Wands. So, I'm really seeing that along with this inspiration, you're seeing yourself in a different light, Cancer. You're taking better care of yourself. You're having courage in your situations. You're also loving yourself unconditionally. This could also be you loving someone else unconditionally. But I feel like whatever the situation is, it's bringing you a lot of strength, a lot of fearlessness. You know, I feel like you have the capability of moving on without having any fear. Hmm. We have the Page of Pentacles. Now, the Page of Pentacles is very immature energy. The Page of Pentacles coming right underneath the Judgment card is telling me that this situation, you're finding value in whatever decision that you made. You're finding a lot more clarity in this decision you're also finding your way the page of pentacles can also be about communication it can also be about someone delivering a message to you someone actually viewing you as valuable someone's viewing your situation as an investment. You know what I mean? Um, 
This is you investing more time, more care into taking care of yourself. You may be trying to lose weight. I'm not saying that you're overweight or anything like that. But I feel like, you know, with this strength card next to the Page of Pentacles, I feel like you're really focused on making yourself better in any way that that resonates with you. Um, but I feel like with the Page of Pentacles, you're making yourself better. You're finding your way. Definitely. You're looking at things through a different lens, Cancer. And I feel like it's bringing you a lot more clarity. It's bringing you a lot more wisdom because you're taking time to look inside yourself. This is hangman energy. This is beautiful energy. And look what popped out. The hangman. This is spirit clarifying for you that the road that you're traveling is the right path for you. You may not see that your journey is going the right way just yet. But I believe that you will, Cancer. Yeah, we have this the Eight of Swords. So yeah, exactly what I was just saying. I feel like you may not believe that your path is going the right way, that you're going in the right direction, but you are Cancer. You are. Don't hold yourself back from what is meant for you. Because... Whatever blessings, whatever abundance is meant for you will find you. It will find you, Cancer. So have faith. Trust. Let's get some more messages. Clarify more of the situation for me, Spirit. Tell me more about this situation for Cancer. Tell me more about this situation. The Six of Swords. Yes. You're moving in a direction that's taking you away from chaos. Taking you away from conflict and struggle. And it's moving you into a better destination. It's moving you into a better path. Um, more calm. You're moving back into the direction where you're intended to go in the first place. You know, sometimes when we're around drama, when we're around conflict or arguments, when we're around negative people, it pulls us away from our path. It kind of gives us this mental detour. And sometimes we need to feel grounded. We need to get back on our path that we were destined to be on. And sometimes that means letting certain things go in our life so that we can make room for these better things to come. And I feel like that's what you're doing with this Ace of Wands, the Strength card, and the Six of Swords. Very strong energy. Cancer. Very strong energy. Okay, with the... Two of Cups, the Hangman, you have the King of Pentacles. Definitely. Definitely feel like you're gaining. You're not only gaining some kind of union. Some kind of love interest is coming forward for you. This is some kind of partnership. It may be a partnership in business. It may be a partnership in love. This may be companionship. New friendships coming and unfolding for you. But I feel like you're gaining a lot of wisdom. And along with that wisdom, you're also gaining stability. Something is grounding you. And is grounding you in a way that is going to take full effect. The King of Pentacles, he's very solid. He's very wise. He's a wise investor. He knows where to put his money, where his money is going to make more money. You know, he knows how to do certain things to increase his wealth and i feel like that may be what you're doing at the moment that may be the avenue that you're going 
whether it be if you're investing in yourself, a career, investing your money. You know, you are investing in something or someone really wants to invest in you, Cancer. Okay, tell me more about this situation, Spirit. Give me a little bit more information. Tell me about this. The Ten of Swords. Yeah, that's exactly what I was feeling. You know, sometimes we need to let go of, of things in our life so that we can make way for bigger and better things to come around. Sometimes those things cannot come into fruition unless something is sacrificed, unless something is taken away that's actually pulling your energy in the wrong direction. So if you feel like your energy is pulled in a negative direction, that may be something that you may need to let go of. You may need to release that from your life so that bigger and better things can come into your life. Bigger and better things can come into fruition. Bring those things down to reality. You know? Okay, let's... I'm going to pull another deck. Let's take a look at another deck so we can get some more clarity in the situation. What else does Cancer need to know in this situation spirit what does cancer need to know in this situation the king of swords some kind of truth is coming out some kind of truth the king of swords he's very strategic he's very thought provoking you know he's a great thinker He's also very intelligent and he doesn't take that leap without knowing what the outcome may be. Not to say that he's not trusting, but he's looking at a logical outcome. That may be what you're doing, Cancer, or that may be what you need to do. That's also doing the research, taking a second look, you know, there may be something that you need to reconsider or something that you need to really study or research. Some kind of information is very important that you need to focus on. What other information do you have for cancer? The judgment. Look at this. We have the judgment. And the judgment. So something is taking you into this, making this final decision, this rebirth, this renewal of some sort. See, the, the coffins represent where these people have always been. That represents their life their unwillingness of change you know but as they grow higher as they float up to this angel this represents their new birth their renewal their ability to look at change as something that is for their benefit something for the higher good you know and i feel like that is what spirit is telling you to do Get out of the place where you have always been and take a look at a higher dimension, a higher place where you actually belong. You actually belong in a renewed spirit, a, re a rebirth of a sort, you know. What else do we have for cancer? The hermit. The hermit soul searching energy and I feel like you're going to come to this final decision you're going to come to this place of renewal by dwelling within taking a 
look at solitude, your inner self, your spiritual side, you know, trusting in spirit, trusting in a higher power is going to take you into the next level. Trusting your intuition. Maybe you're doing more meditation or you're really working on your spiritual side. I feel like you're gaining a lot of wisdom. You know, he's also carrying the star in his lantern. His healing is guiding him through this journey of discovery. And I feel like, you know, that has something to do with this inner child healing that we have here. You know, your healing is guiding you through, through this learning experience. Some kind of experience is going to be very special for you. And it's intended only for you. What else do we have for Cancer? The Nine of Pentacles. Look at this. We have the Nine of Pentacles twice. So definitely something coming forward that's going to bring you a lot more wealth. It's going to bring you new financial gain. Self-sufficiency. This is also luxury. And it is also solo pleasures. You know, taking that solitude and being happy within yourself. Finding happiness within yourself when you're in these solo times, you know, these hermit times. The hermit, he goes by himself to gain his wisdom. You know, the Nine of Pentacles is very similar to that because they're very content on being by themselves, but they're also focused on their financial gain, on making their life better finding pleasures in their um, their own luxury see definitely I love this energy for you cancer this is beautiful energy this is change this is all of this becoming complete. This is you going through these lessons, learning experiences, going through these lessons. These are your achievements, your goals. So much success after a long journey. And I feel like you're, you're close to the completion of that journey. Look at this. We have the Empress at the bottom. So I definitely feel like something that you're doing, Cancer, is coming into fruition. Something that you're doing is being fruitful. And it is going to bear the fruit that you hope it does. It, it may bear the fruit that can exceed your hope. That can exceed your dreams for it. Let's take a look at, let's see... Yeah, let's take a look at, you know what, we're going to get a manifestation card. Let's take a look at the manifestations, excuse me, uh, Moonology. Take a look at Moonology and see what Moonology has to say about this situation. Give me a message for Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, and Rising. For Cancer's greatest good, a message for Cancer. We have your commitment is being tested. And I feel like your commitment is being tested, Cancer, because you can easily steer away from your path. You could e easily steer this boat in another direction and not move towards calmness, but move back towards drama. So that can easily happen depending on your journey depending on what you are releasing from your life so your commitment cancer is to stay on the right track stay grounded stay aligned with your destiny stay aligned with your highest good you know stay away from drama stay away from 
negative people who steer you in the wrong direction by all the negative talk that they talk. You know, you can definitely choose another path. But I feel like the path that you're on is going to take you to a destination that you've only sought of in your dreams. Let's take a look. Let's see what else we have. Luck is on your side, Cancer. Spirit is letting you know everything is going to work out in your favor. You have the okay, the approval of spirit. Prosperity lies ahead. Definitely. Definitely. And I feel that very strongly for you, Cancer. Look, hold your vision. Fix moon. Don't steer in another direction. Stay your course. Be persistent. Be patient in your journey, Cancer. Be patient on the journey that you're destined to go through. That is your journey. What is meant for you will be aligned to your energy. Let's take another look. Um, what messages do we have for Cancer? What messages do we have for Cancer Spirits? Another message for Cancer. We have inner strength. Definitely. Definitely. Let me get my glasses for this one because this is some fine print. Just one moment. Okay, Cancer. Okay, we have inner strength. So with inner strength, we have move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power. The power is yours, Cancer. You just have to hold your position. Another message for Cancer. Okay, look at this, Cancer. Focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expose the best possible. No. <coughs> Excuse me. Expect the best possible outcome for your situation. Expect your best outcome, Cancer. At the bottom, we have open communication. Get the weight off your chest. Speak up with love and be heard. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I don't know why I'm sneezing all of a sudden. Oh. Okay, let's see. One more card for Cancer. One more card for Cancer, and then we'll close this out. One more card for Cancer, please. Spirit. Thank you. We have golden children, inner child, tenderness, and innocence, rare gifts. Spirit is gifting you something. The universe is gifting you something. I feel like this is you taking back what you're owed. Cancer. This is something that was intended just for you just for you imagine that that the universe loves you so much that they intended this lifestyle this gift just for you to experience okay cancer that is what i have for you if this reading resonates Please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. If you know that from your chart. If this doesn't resonate with you, Cancer, 
check back next week and you will see another message just for you. Okay, Cancer, many blessings to you. Until your next reading, love and light.